back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Last time we left off with uh, helping uh, Micah get the... Well, not helping Micah. Helping Bill get the TNT, I think it was. Uh, this time we're doing the Honor Amongst Thieves. It's quite a business. Yes. Thought we were through with all of this. Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Faber seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made. Apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? Because he's honest, a dick? I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out. And he knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. Supposed to be heading to a pediatric coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. M Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. Nice. Okay. Let's go and rob it. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. Well, hurry up then. We haven't got all day. Colonel Faith, you knows you're up here helping these people? Yes, and no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. Can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. <clears throat> well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. The rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We really cannot afford more conflict. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Falls and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the back seat. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know, Favors has many flaws. But I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He yeah, it makes sense. In the war, his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. <coughs> Fair enough. Alright, how much further we got to go? Just in case. thinking of. Let's go up this way. Okay. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here. Fair enough. Wait, so am I just robbing the wagon or am I killing everyone and then robbing the wagon? Or is it going to be one of those missions where he distracts them and oh. I just... Sneak behind and steal everything. Okay, let's dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll good idea. Good view over the road from this ledge. <sighs> the wagon should come along this way. Okay. <coughs> man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. 
In that case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother. <laughs> That's a good idea. Unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. Just remember to keep it clean. Understand me? Don't worry. I'm as clean as they come. All I do is clean. Well, good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no. I, I can't promise. Well, that was quick and easy. I hope that's actually what I was supposed to do. Right, let's loot the bodies quickly. How much cash you got on you? Oh. Okay, not even worth it. What am I supposed to do with the wagon? Just steal it. I do. Let me in. Alright, now it's not on the road. <coughs> and we get the stuff we need. Alright, Shadow, let's get on out of here. Yeah, we're not walking off that edge. Walk down here. Hopefully it's not that far, I can't remember. Oh, actually, we didn't ride that far, so it can't be. Unfortunately, it's going to get a little bit warm in here because there's fucking firework night, so... For me, anyway. It's probably like... March, June? Oh, no, not March, June. March, April? Ish. Somewhere around then for you. Oh, fucking. Really? You tripped over that really the small corner of that rock? Thanks for that, Shadow. Alright, girl. Let's go and get this done. The just environmental noises. You can hear the river on our left. There's birds above us. And we've got nice instrumental to run us along with that beautiful light coming through over the hill there. <coughs> and I'm still bloody got this damn phlegm problem. Oh, we're nearly there now. I hope I left the wagon in a nice spot so it wasn't really going to be spotted as well. I mean, unless they look up. If they look up, they're easily going to spot it. Hey, that was a well short mission. Ten minutes, I believe, ish, give or take. A few. Yo, Captain Dick Monkey. I've got your medicine. Yeah, uh, was it? Oh, that was it, Mariah. I got the message. <clears throat> oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. I'll take your word for that. Two guys died. We can both swing for this. <laughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past care about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. 
Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Can I have one of those Man vials? It might help me out. A good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. Honor amongst thieves. What did I do wrong? Complete with info. Ah, oh, okay. That took too long. Any side missions near me? No, there's not. But there's John there. The bridge to nowhere. I guess this is the bridge we're blowing up. I can bloody hear that dog downstairs. I can't wait until he goes home. Drive me up the wall. Fucking squealing, barking. There's no one to shut up. I suppose we could go talk to this guy. Fuck it, why not? Shadow, we're leaving. Other horse, do what you want. Okay, girl. Actually, come with me. See if we can get you back to camp at some point. Come on, Arthur. Get moving. Come on, let me do a run. Here. There we go. Yeah. Right, so we did that pretty quickly. I honestly thought that mission was going to take a little bit longer time. And considering that was an army wagon, I presume that there'd be more people guarding it. But I guess not with only two guys in the front. A driver and a shotgunner. I ain't gonna complain though. It's quick and simple. Come on other horse, catch up. Eh, it's a good girl boy, I don't know what you are. That's a good horse. Come on, keep up. Oh, nice, we get to go up through the mountains again. This other horse ain't too fast, is it? Jesus. I'm having to trot quite slowly. Because if you go full speed, this little fucker can't really keep up. Oh no, it's doing a good job. Downhill. Not on flat though, for some reason. Anyway, we're going to go talk to the inventor man again. Yep. See what weird and wacky contraption he's got for us to use this time. We've still got like just under 20 minutes. Oh. Oh, sorry, hang on. I didn't even notice you were fucking... That's my fault. Uh, I'll give you a peach. Uh, something that's going to give you... I'll give you some ginseng. Hang on, don't worry. We're going to get you nice and full up on stamina again. <coughs> Come on, other horse. Yeah, we need to move those wolves. And I'm not hurting them. There's a campfire up ahead. You can see it on top of that hill to the left. Uh oh, there's not going down there. Don't go down there. What are you doing? Just a more. Come on. Just randomly started running in circles for some reason. I think she might be a little bit drunk. Either way, we're going to get there. We're going to talk to Inventor Boy. We're going to get... Oh, fuck me. Why are you running out of stamina so quickly? Are you going to give it to her then, Arthur, or not? Thank you. And now we're going to give her some stamina. Oh, it's an injection. That can't be good. Abandoned wagon. Oh, 
No, I wasn't doing too bad keeping up there. Okay, spoke too soon. What the fuck? Guess you're what? Oi! Give me that woman! Horse! Get me off this horse! Yeah, I'm helping you. No, don't put it back on the horse! It, her, don't put her back on the horse. I'm trying. Wow, his hat landed perfectly on that rock. Are you really gonna leave me tied up like this? I've only just put you down, woman. Jesus, chill. Thank the Lord you showed up when you did. All the things he said he'd do to me. You're welcome. It's all right, ma'am. It's over now. Thank you. Again. I'm pretty sure the voice actor for that woman changed literally just then. <laughs> One dollar eighty-seven. Not even that much to rub. Oh, she's got his horse now. Don't worry, woman. We're not creeping up on you. I'm heading this way. Mate, our fucking on is right up there now. Still want a dead or alive in this state, though, for some reason. You'd have thought they'd have forgotten about me, Bunny. Well, actually, no. It's only been like a week. <laughs> In game, that is. Oh, nice. We're here. Oh, wow. Easy. Hey. All right, other horse. Stay still. Guess we're not going in that way then. This door? This door. There we go. Hello? <coughs> Is anybody here? Hello? Are here to rob me. I wish to make clear that I have weapons that could liquefy each of your internal organs in turn and leave you just a puddle on the floor. Professor, I ain't here to rob you. It's me. I am. Um, I helped you at the pond. You did. Oh, <laughs> you did. <laughs> In the buffoon! <laughs> Hello! Hello. I hope I'm not disturbing you. Of course you are disturbing me, buddy. I almost solved biggest problem and you mess it up! Did? No, but I did. <laughs> I can't get the bloody conductor straight. Uh, well, well, it, it, it is uh, the geometry of life. The grand theory of uh, power. <laughs> it's the grand theory of theories. <laughs> uh, there is just one more big problem. <laughs> Maybe I solve it, but I can't get it right. I don't understand. Of course you don't. Help me adjust these things and I will show you what I mean. Here, take this. Oh, well, uh, I'm not much of a scientist. Yeah, well, you are an American. <laughs> Science is far beyond you, but <laughs> you make a, a fine book. Go. You have the detector in your hand. The filament flashes when it points at the location for conductors. Follow flashes up in hills and plant conductor rods where filament goes solid. When all three conductors in place, lightning strikes. 
Okay. Yeah, I can see it's glowing. Oh, that way. Let's go. I barely hear you now, mate. If you say so. Lightning hit about here. Yep. Let me guess. Further up the hill as well. Well, I'm guessing it's where that lightning just hit. How can you even see me from here? To the lab. Yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> Gives me praise instantly. Return to the lab. Mate, I've not been cl this close to lightning on this game before. It's always been over in the distance. I really hope that wolf doesn't come down here. I really don't want to have to fucking close my eyes and shoot it. I cannot deal with shooting wolves. Surely it would have been better to hang these rods higher up, like on the top of a tree. Wonderful! I wish I ever went to school so I had a clue what was going on. <laughs> what now? Well, now, I become the second creature after God himself to bring life to this earth like this <laughs> am I missing something oh, uh, the switches the bloody switches okay uh, climb up there and adjust them for me go quick please okay No, we don't want to jump down. God damn it. What I got myself into. Yeah, it's interesting. He's basically uh, Dr. Frankenstein. From what I can gather so far. The switches are on a circuit. Click one switch on the array and another might go off. You want the three. Oh. You better hope I ain't fried up here. There we go. Left, right, middle. That's how you do it. Mate, this is cool. It's working. It's working. <laughs> Come down here, quick. Yeah, I'm trying. No, get off the fucking ladder. Walk round it. No, round it. Thank you, Jesus. Are you ready? Sure. Second 
That was a fucking lucky guess with those uh, circuits. This is my life's work. It is incredible. Oh, a robot. I thought it was going to be a, a body sewn together. to shoot it now, aren't I? Or not. Is that it? For now. I am so happy. <laughs> oh, you just saw creation's second birth. <laughs> I just saw a machine waddle a few steps. I have a son. I am the luckiest man alive. I, those morons! They doubted me. I'll see you later. Yes. Yes. Goodbye. <laughs> well, it was an interesting mission. Not as interesting as the first one of those missions, but who am I to judge? Right. Next time we will do. Uh, the fine art of conversation. I guess. Because we're the. That's the closest one to us. So, uh, thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you feel like it. And if you don't, as per usual. And I will see you all in the next episode for. A fine... Okay, it's broken. Do you want to just fucking show me the mission? The fine art of conversation. So see you then. Adios.